this is very encouraging. <laughs> um, I'll try to get out there in a minute, maybe put my waders on. But honestly, I don't think this rice, I mean, the rice looks great. It's all standing straight up. Water came down. God, it dropped almost like 9 or 10 feet since noon yesterday. And it did that within like 10 or 12 hours. But anywho, I can see the rice. It's all standing up. Um, I bet there's some that's still underwater, but it doesn't look like it has sustained any damage whatsoever. Wow. I, uh, I really can't express how happy I am to see this. I am going to get in, and I have got a job ahead of me. I knew I had anyway. The pipe that I'm using in here has gotten, it got plugged up, so I had to cut it, and then just the way it is, um, the beavers keep keep plugging it up for me. So I knew this season I was probably going to have to cut this beaver dam out and replace that pipe. So I'm going to get started on that now. I, even though everything looks good, I do want to take water off of this. I don't want it as high as it is right now. If all of the rice of all I saw was a sea of rice, I'd probably leave it, to be honest. Uh, rice loves this. But there's low spots, I bet, where the rice is a little lower and not coming in as good. So... I am going to get in right now. I brought Mr. Shovel with me. Um, and I'm going to get in here right now. And I'm going to start cutting this out. Getting this to drain. I'll probably get in here somewhere. You can see the water's deep enough. She's swimming. Right down here is where that pipe is. I'll pro I will put my waders on. And um, start uh, open that up so it can, it can help drain some too. So... Luckily, it's not a billion degrees out here today. It's in the shade. It's actually quite pleasant. I'm sure once I start hopping on this shovel, that's going to change. But hey, let's keep going. I'll show you some of my progress as it goes. But so far, we're off to a better than expected start. Yay. Well, she's a draining. I think that might take down about eight inches of water. Um, I hope it can't, the camera's not shaking too much. My arms are tired. Um, I dug it wider than I have done this in the past just to get, you know, it was easier to d dig it wider than, than deeper um, just to get w faster water flow through it. So I'm not, I am going to eventually, before I leave today, get down in the water and clear out the drainage pipe, just get even that much more water flowing out. Right now, I'm afraid if I bend over in my waders, it'll go over. So I'm going to run up to the bean hole and check on that situation. Hopefully, my drainage pipe is, is doing its job, and really, most of the water ought to be off of that by now. If not, I don't think that'll be a big deal to fix it. And I'm going to try to address uh, some of the leakage around my little uh, poor man's flashboard riser. So let's head over there and check it out. What do you say? Okay. Well, like my dad always says, I'd rather be lucky than good any day. And I am lucky here. Um, to say it's not harmed is an understatement. I think thriving is the word I'm looking for. Actually, even some of the freaking Japanese millet looks like it's still up and at them. But uh, barnyard grass, I don't see any rice there. There's actually a little bit of rice right there. I can see rice out through there that's looking good. Um, I'm good. <laughs> I thought I was going to be SOL for sure, but uh, she's jamming. She is jamming. Bean Ho looks really good. Look at that. Look at that. Even the Japanese millet survived the flood. I, I know it would tolerate some water. I didn't think it would survive overtopping. Um, like this has here yet it, uh, it looks good and I've got some smart weed mixed in here Jeez Louise okay well whew, very good very happy to see that so now I am gonna I may adjust the pipe I think it is clogged but it doesn't really need to drain so I'll look around a little bit and see just to make sure but I don't I think I'm just gonna leave that be but we are going to go over here. We're going to check the water control structure, see if we can't do something about the leaks. So let's go grab, 
let's look at it first before we lug tools over there and see what it looks like. Well, she's still standing, which is better than the system I'd had in here before. I forgot to mention when I did the little video for Bad Weather 12 about would I do it again, why I would not do a pipe again over here is just because I, I could not combat erosion. Um, it just, every time I got a flood like this, I had to come in and, and undo it. And I was digging over there, I was digging over there, I was running out of places to dig. Uh, so I came up with a more permanent solution. It's actually higher in the hole right now and slightly flowing back. Um, not much. I am going to do what I said. I am going to stick my cutter. Um, oh, there's one over there. Take a piece of decking board, cut a sharp point on it, put it right up against here and see if I can't drive it down in. And I'm eventually going to have to backfill this with dirt because at some point in time, this has to hold water in and not, um, not flow back out through here. So I'm going to go grab some tools and we're going to do it. All right, cut my board. I'm gonna try to drive it down in there. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Wish it was longer. Ain't gonna work. It's running under it. I don't think you can see, but the way it's, way it's boiling up as it comes out and you can see the current See the sediment silt there and the water's running underneath the boards. So, I guess I could try pounding those down in. I'm gonna give that a try. But it's running under it. Blech. This might require some more shovel work. All right, well that seems to have done the trick for now. It is, it's not leaking here. You don't see any, any swirls or anything coming up out of there. So at least for the moment, crisis averted, not really a crisis, <laughs> but uh, it's holding water, which is what I want. You know, I was thinking this isn't a real flashboard riser because I don't intend on actually taking a, it in and out like you typically would, right? It's a semi-permanent structure because I drained it through there and I'm probably gonna have to pump it because the creek's not getting high enough this year for the last couple years. So anywho, I got a plug for now. Probably gonna have to do some more digging on this side, but I don't wanna. <laughs> it's okay for now. Um, I'll wait to do the rest when I can get some help. I'm gonna go back over to the bean hole, big hole. It's been draining for, has it been an hour? I don't think it's been an hour. We're gonna go check it out. Let's go see. All right, before we head back over to the big hole, I just wanted to come over here and take a look. And man, it's fantastic. Um, some of the natural stuff looks like it wasn't super happy, but the rice, God, rice is doing fantastic. Um, some yellowing over there. Maybe that's some things I don't even want to grow anyway. I think it's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna be great. We're gonna have, jeez, we're gonna have at least, we're gonna have more rice in here this year just from a volunteer crop than I did last year. So it is three feet tall. It's almost up to my waist. It ain't super tall. Um, it's almost up to my waist. This is the area I mentioned in a previous video. I came out here and just kind of cut donuts in the four wheeler. This was bare ground two weeks ago. And the smart wheat said, thank you very much. And it's growing nicely. So more duck food, man. Hey, I can't lose for winning. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. I was really worried. Looking good. All right, let's go check out the, uh, the big hole. Still draining. I'm looking at, trying to look at things around here that were wet. I think it's maybe come down about an inch. It's hard to say. I don't know what's waterline from just water being up and from Somebody, where is she? Splashing around in the water. Um, maybe an inch. It's running pretty good. 
I'm gonna work on this area. This is probably the high spot right now. I'm gonna work on that. Um, just so this will really drain down a bunch tonight before the beavers get a chance to get in here and screw me up. And uh, I'm probably gonna walk over there. We'll take a look at how the rice is doing. All right. Oh, and I'm gonna unclog the pipe. Whew, I'm tired. Mission accomplished. I got the pipe unclogged. It actually wasn't very clogged this time. Um, so, that's draining. That's good. Let's go look at some rice. Well, not bad. Take a little swim, Rosie. So, you can see some of this rice is still laying down. And I bet as this water recedes, it'll perk back up, just like all this did. Just about it, like 99% of the green you see is rice. It's not very thick, but I bet you that's not a bad thing. I bet you, let me clean the lens off. I bet you, I've planted it too thick in the past. I thought I did here. So I think I'm in real good shape. I really, really do. I'm going to take, if that runs as much as I want, I'll take a good eight inches of water off this, which should make this a mud flat, which means I'm going to throw millet on it. So all the little bearish places will get millet and ducks like millet right so um hey man i am so so happy with the outcome of this today i was really upset the last couple days because i was afraid i lost all my stuff but as you can see we're in business so for future reference rice can be completely flooded for three or four days and doesn't appear to hurt it whatsoever so I think that's it for today. I'm probably going to go grab something to eat real quick, come back and just check on this, make sure the beavers haven't already started working. But you don't need to watch that. So that's it for today. So this is a very rejoiceful episode of Foul Play Outdoors. I'm Bruce. Thanks for watching.